what's up guys, it's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, check it out. Today, I have a special uh, treat for you guys. We're gonna be demoing the Z3000 Billy Goat stand on blower. I'm super excited about this one. A lot of you guys wanted to see this and see a review on it. We're gonna do a little walk around here, show you guys a little bit more about the uh, unit. We'll see you guys inside. Make, 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 make the ground shake. All right, guys, I'm here with Jeff and Joe. They're both with Billy Goat and PED. So these guys are gonna be talking a little bit more about the machine. I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not the expert here, but uh, these guys are with the stand on blower. So without further ado, Jeff, what's up, brother? How are you? You ready to rock and roll? Ready to go. All right, this guy, he's got his sound bites. He's got all of his information. It's funny, what happened to the weather? It was supposed to be 55 degrees today on this drop-off, right? It's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> it's 20 degrees out. We're freezing cold. Jeff, you can take it away, my friend. Let me know what we got going on, and uh, let's talk about some uh, talking points with this stand-on blower. My name is Jeff Hill. I'm the district sales manager for Billy Goat Industries. What we've got here is our Z3000 blower. This complements our full line of blowers now from 6 horsepower all the way up to 35 horsepower. This is the biggest most uh, most powerful blower there is. It puts out 8,500 CFM at 165 miles an hour. It's on the stand-on platform, so you can operate it just like you operate a stand-on a stand-on lawnmower. You can blow to the left, you can blow to the right, you can blow to the center or front, and you can blow all three at the same time. If you're cleaning off, cleaning a, a walking path or a bicycle path or something like that, you can do that. You can clean off parking lots, big and small properties big and small whatever you want to do with it that requires a lot of error you're going to have a lot of error so this right here kind of completes the billy goat family lineup right you have the the walk behind blowers and now we've got the huge stand on hurricane blowers all the way from the six horse small wheel blower up to the 13 horse and the 18 horse and then we have two stand-ons the x3000 and the z3000 the x3000 is about 6500 cfm the Z3000 is 8,500 CFM. This has a 35 horsepower engine, where the Z, excuse me, the X, has a 23 horsepower engine. Can you jump on and start it up for us? Go I know ahead, these Joe. guys are anxious to check it all out. This is Joe with PED. You guys have seen Joe before. He's the man. Hi, Ben Joe. Good, thank you. You've been staying out of trouble? Trying to, it's free time. <laughs> Amen. It's pretty sweet. Now, you've been on these just a, a couple times. This is brand new to everybody, right? Brand new to us. We picked this up Thursday. Um, it was our first demo on Friday. Um, learning a lot fast with the, with the machine. Um, as Jeff went over, it's very big and powerful and it can definitely move uh, anything that I've seen so far. All right, hey, let's do a quick walk around, show these guys the controls, because this is all new to me. It's new to a lot of people. Uh, haven't been a lot of video out there. So what do we got here for the controls? Okay, Brian, the controls panel is like a, your gas tank is right here. That's where you fill your 10-gallon gas tank. 10 gallons. You, the rest of your control panel is very similar to any other piece of power equipment. Your on and off key, your throttle, and your choke. And then your hydrostatic attachments or hydrostatic controls are very much like anybody stand on a lawnmower. Forward, left, zero turn capability. The uh, the control for the, for the panels that allow the wind to open is... Uh, <coughs> Front goes open when you push it to the front. You close it by pulling it back. The side goes open when you push it to the left side. Okay. And then to close it, you close all. The right side goes open when you push it to the right side. So if you want to select which side or to the front you blow on, that's how you blow you, that's how you do it. Can you show me one more time? So we gotta go sure. all the way back to close. All and, the way back to close. And then right to open. Let's see if we can get in there. One more time. Oh, look at that. Well, here, let's do the other side as well. This is probably okay. easier to see. Check that out. Close it again. All right. Open it again. 
you want both those open, you pull the pin and prop it open. This little pin. Be open, right? yep. So this is a little bit more concentrated airflow, right? Gives you a little more focused airflow, so if you have something stubborn to get off the ground, that's how you do it. Thank you. Yep. All right, all right. Now, how do most of these guys use it? With one or two, or have you guys kind of seen 50-50? I think probably with two in most cases. Again, if you want to concentrate your airflow and focus it, sure. then you'd want to close one off, get your more air, or, uh, focus the air more sure. of a concentrated manner. All right. If you want to open up the front, you close that, and then you open up the front. You can also have them all open. Let's say, for instance, you're doing a cart path, or you want to blow air in all directions, then you would open the left, in any manner you want, any order you want, front, left, and right, and they would all be open at the same time. I like it. Okay. okay. So then if you wanted to close them all, then you could go across the parking lot with a, and, and you'd blow a minimum of air so it wouldn't affect anything around you. Cool. You'd all be right. able to transport the machine without blowing a lot of air. I like it. You guys saw this or not but this billy goat stand on blower was shooting the lead the, how far was that 30 40 feet at least at least wow now i know a lot of you guys like it's kind of hard to make a stand on blower super cool for a video okay it's a stand on blower i get it it's kind of redundant by this point but wow that was really cool i this and by the way these leaves are frozen to the ground we got a quarter inch or a half inch of snow uh literally two days ago and you guys saw this whole line over here was literally getting blown uh, I thought those leaves were frozen to the ground. Like that would be crazy to use with a backpack blower. Oh, absolutely. I, I think. I don't uh, think you could with a backpack blower. No, I don't think you could as wow. well. I could see how again, that could be a game changer. <laughs> the yeah. most overly used word for 2018, 2019. But um, well, let me ask you this. So, guys that are using this, is this just for the big companies that have you know 10 fleets and 50 employees, and they can just throw down for this? Or is this? Are you guys? See, I'm, I'm asking personally because I'm an owner operator. Uh, we have one or two guys that help me during the summer and the busy months. But have you guys noticed like are people using these owner operators or a little bit in between or? What's your thoughts? Uh, we're seeing a little bit of both, right? So owner operators, uh, you know, some of the biggest problems that you guys tend to have is labor, right? So sure. when you're an owner owner operator, now you can take in and put this on your trailer. You don't have to have a couple guys with backpack blowers running around. Right. So you know you can you can offset some of that with you you know when you're done mowing, you jump on this and then you go take care of your clippings and everything else that needs to be done. So you could have one of these versus two guys. Now let me ask you this, is the machine ever call in sick? The machine does not call in sick. <laughs> or, or slick, right? No, it does not. <laughs> That's awesome. Now one thing that Jeff was talking about just a second ago was when you're doing cleanup like on larger sites, uh, especially like parking lots, like imagine after doing all the snow and salt, there's rock all the way around and just debris and trash. You could absolutely clean up like parking lots, banks, malls. What were you saying with uh, how people were finding productivity in that aspect? Well, you're right, and it, well, it, it saves time and, and uh, lowers your labor costs. And what especially saves time, where we're seeing these used more and more is even in the spring. In the spring of the year, when you're doing a uh, a small commercial property, say a bank or a pharmacy, sure, and you, all the grass clippings get into the parking lot, then you take one or two or three backpack blowers and clean it up. 
take one of these off the trailer and you're done in 30 seconds. Absolutely. Load it back in the trailer and you're out of there. I like that. Well, I have a, a couple different walking paths that I got to do some uh, basic edging and trimming for in the spring. And then this like site right here, for example, and a couple of other of our commercial sites, I absolutely intend to take this around the perimeter. Usually that would take me, gosh, 10, 15 minutes just to walk around the whole parking lot, right? And now I could just literally zip around with this. Minute and a half? <laughs> minute Two and a half. Minutes? I don't know. That, that, when you're a small business owner, I'm, I don't have to convince you guys. I'm not trying to sell you guys on it. It's just, it just makes sense to me. Like that, that's just productivity. It's simple math. And uh, I like, anytime you can add a motor and wheels and uh, a machine like this to your arsenal, I think you're just gonna have that much more profitable and productive of a business. We actually have a one month long demo, which is really cool. Super shout out and thank you to all of you guys that make this kind of stuff happen. Um, if you wanna see anything in particular, leave me a comment down below and let me know because we're gonna do a lot of leaf cleanup videos and I'm excited about showing you guys how this actually works, especially on some larger acreage sites where I think this would be uh, uh, just an absolute productivity machine so uh, guys that's pretty much it I want to say Joe thank you sir hey thank you guys appreciate it appreciate it and then Jeff thank as you. always we've been on the channel before we love you thank you sir and uh, guys if you want to learn more information check out Billy Goat we'll leave all the links in the description we'll catch up with you guys here soon